Right guys, I've got to keep my voice down, okay, because everybody's sleeping in my house and I don't want to wake them up and let them know I'm doing a video, obviously, but... <sighs> what the fuck has happened? Liverpool's transfer window has been an absolute disaster. And now we know why. Ian A can't negotiate for one because of a Salah deal. But from what I just heard on Sky Sports News right now, it turns out he did negotiate it a deal with Dnipro for Conor Plianka but the owner of of um, Dnipro he refused to sign the paperwork in order for the transfer to go through they are thinking he has just trolled us all Dnipro have trolled us all oh my god that is the reason we did not sign Conor Plianka let that sink in the owner would not sign the paperwork let that sink in. I didn't even know an owner could do that after triggering, triggering, triggering a, re a release clause. I don't even. I didn't even know an owner could do that. I thought if a, if a release clause was triggered, they had no choice but to let the player go. Sorry, let me say that again. Let the player go. I thought that was the point of release clauses. But obviously, I was wrong. <laughs> but. This transfer window has been an absolute disaster. I know some of it is not ENA's fault. I'll give him a benefit of a doubt. But he was at fault for the Salah deal falling through. Because it, this was ridiculous, right? Liverpool were locked in negotiations for Salah um, for two months. Um, yeah, two months. Chelsea come in one day. What happens? They agree a deal to take him to Stamford Bridge. That was, the, that was A's fault. He couldn't negotiate. I honestly think Donald Duck would do a better job than him on that part. Um, it's just gutting, really. It really is. I mean, I'm not going to get into a whole rant because I've already done that on Twitter because I thought Ian A did it again. He couldn't negotiate with Con for Conor Blanca. From what I've seen, the personal terms were already agreed um, um, with him and his agent, who was his father. And the owner just didn't want to didn't want to sell him, uh, which is quite understandable. Let's be honest. If he's a key player, you don't want to get rid of a key player, do you? Especially in the January transfer window. But me personally, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to try and backtrack you. But did we really need him? Um, because what we really need is a defensive midfielder and a left back. That's what we should have strengthened. I mean, don't get me wrong, Conor Plianka is a good player. Salah is a good player. But they were both wingers. They're looking in the wrong places in in regards of positions. We need a defensive midfielder because Lucas out injured now. Nigel de Jong would have been a good one. He, he, he would have been a good defensive midfielder for us. Even if it was a loan. We only needed him for a loan. Lucas is out injured. We, need, we needed players in this transfer window. The squad is thin as it is. We needed players. It's been a disaster this month. I know we just got to take it on the chin and move on now, but it's been an absolute disaster. The Salah deal was down to E&A, not negotiating. Um, well, with regard to the price, and the Conor Plianka deal has fallen through because the Dnipro owner wouldn't sign the paperwork. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of slap in the face to Liverpool fans, isn't it? It really is. Um, it's a massive slap in the face. He's just trolled us all. And before I go, I just want to say something, right? This is to all you in the nose who happen to know everything about Liverpool transfers or whatever club you're backing, right? You know nothing. All of you in the nose who apparently know what's going on in the transfer business, you know nothing. You always spite bullshit. You know who I listen to? Reporters like Ben Smith of the BBC. Reporters from Sky Sports. Because they are reliable sources. They, they barely get anything wrong. Let's be honest. If a, if a statement is not coming from them, I don't believe it. Don't believe anything in the papers. Don't believe anything on these Twitter accounts who claim to know everything about what's going on in the... In the, in the in a negotiating party or whatever in the transfer, whatever stage in the transfer, 
because most of the time they spout bullshit, which is not true. Obviously. I have seen so many of these this month, it's unbelievable. They were saying the Salah deal was done. They were saying the Konoplyanka deal was done. Now look what you've done. You've just tarnished your reputations. No one's ever going to believe you again, let's be honest. If you got one, this is what you'll be remembered for. If you get one thing wrong, everyone knows what this is. That's how, that's how strict people can be these days. You get remembered for the, you get remembered for the wrong reasons. So, let's go back to Liverpool. It's been, I've already said it, but it's been an absolute disaster. And if we don't get Champions League this year, I blame this transfer window. I really do. Um, I'll give the benefit of the doubt to Ian here because, regarding the Conor Plianca deal, because I didn't know that the Dnipro owner didn't want, didn't sign the paperwork. I give him the benefit of the doubt on that, but he's not blameless and part of a salad deal. It was absolutely ridiculous that he let that one slip through. So he's not entirely blameless in his transfer window. And um, let's be honest, we were all holding our breath for this deal to go through. And we all knew it was either going to be a meltdown or cheers of joy. And it turns out it's turned into a meltdown. Liverpool have not signed anyone this transfer window and just let that sink in. Um, uh, so I don't know what else to say guys. It's just really, really disappointing. It's really gutting as well. And um, uh, Share this video if you can. I just want to get opinions out. Um, every Liverpool fan around. Because I love getting your opinions. And I try to reply to them if I can. Um, I mean, it's late late at night right now. It's like 12 o'clock um, my time. So, um, so that's about it, really. It's just really disappointing that we didn't sign anybody this transfer window. It's just been an absolute disaster. Ian e A really has to have a word with, with himself for letting Salah go through. And it turns out it's just... A slap in the face to Liverpool fans everywhere. We're hoping this deal was going to go through, and slap in the face to me as well because I was hoping it was going to go through. Because I actually, we all want players, we all want players to come in. We haven't signed anybody. It's just a massive slap in the face. So, give me your opinions, guys. I'm eager to see them. And cheers. And please remember, you'll never walk alone. And um, give me your opinions. Thanks.